Casey fam, I'm back with another video. I'm back with a different hairstyle. Hmm. Y'all like it? You want me to do my hair black again, you guys? Dark, dark hair again. Dark hair, don't care. Oh, oh, oh. Dark hair, don't care. <laughs> Where's my baby hair? I thought I was supposed to have baby hair. Babe. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Hey, KT fam. I'm back with another video. I'm back with another vlog. So you guys should know what today is. Today is a day that we are supposed to get our truck. Now, I say supposed to because... Nothing is for sure. They're still awaiting drug tests for everybody and like whatever other things they have to do. Um, Like last time we were here. Babe, what time did we get our truck last time? It was like late afternoon, right? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get it until like the late afternoon. Um, we had to check out of the hotel by 11. Um, you know, we kept our rental car until today. Hopefully not until tomorrow, but we kept it until at least today. So we still have that. So we didn't have to like bring everything inside. And then, you know, I already explained that to you, but um, yeah, so we also don't have to catch the shuttle. So we can literally check out at 11 and then chill in our car if we need to at the terminal. Um, so yeah, basically, I don't know. I'm just hoping that we do get our truck today and that they do have a truck for us. They're like, I'll, I'll have to show you guys in this video. I didn't show you in the last one, but they're doing a lot of construction, like a lot of work to this terminal and it's like all torn up like they barely have any trailers and tractors there like it's just not how it used to look so i don't even know if they're gonna have a tractor for us and i heard like they might make you drive somewhere and go get it but let's just hope that they do <laughs> right babe yeah so i'm trying to get to work <laughs> we're not trying to wait around anymore we're trying to get the truck set up like the whole plan is to get the truck today get it set up get a good night's sleep and start early in the morning um so yeah we, you know we still have to buy our food for the truck and whatnot which i'll take you with me to do that hey. <laughs> so um yeah and what else i don't know we're just finishing up getting ready oh no one more thing i really want to okay one more thing um it's not a promotion i don't have a code for you or anything but i can give you a link in my description um if you're interested where to get this and there's more stuff like this yeah i just wanted to say it's not it's not a promotion because it's just something that i decided to try on my own and it's really good like i'm not gonna tell you guys things like you know the wallet i thought it was really cool like everything i try it i'm not gonna tell you guys about it if i don't agree with it so this is just something i tried on my own and like i said i'm gonna put the link in the description for you they're called resolution drops and what you do is you shake it up and then 15 minutes, like don't eat 15 minutes before you take it or drink anything. And then wait 15 minutes after you take it um, to eat or drink anything. And all you do is like fill it up to half. Well, it's not quite half, but you take half of this, you put it under your tongue, you let it sit there for 30 seconds and then you swallow it. And the point of it is that it's, it's not gonna make you be like, oh, I'm not hungry today. No, like for example, the other day I was eating a bowl of soup. I wish I still had it here, but I already took it to the car. I always eat this whole bowl of soup. And let me tell you how I could not even finish half the bowl, okay? It makes you eat less. I'm trying to seriously lose weight, especially because I'm getting back in the truck and it's annoying how much I weigh now. Um, obviously you guys can tell because you all tell me about it. So this is my trying to lose weight while on the road. Really quick guys, this little bowl of um, soup I haven't eaten all morning. It's like 10 o'clock. And that's literally all I could eat. So just an example. Like I'm literally full. It's literally going in the garbage. So it works. Oh yeah, I did tell you guys I was gonna show you all the construction. They basically took down all like whatever was right there. So they have like a little bit of shop over there, the little driver's lounge over there. Like they mostly took out all the trailers and tractors that were here. Like they're just really redoing it. So that's what I was talking about. So now we're gonna go inside. All right, 
Um, so now we're gonna go inside and see what's the word on the tractor. We just heard from um, a couple of other guys that they're gonna have to drive to basically Atlanta, Georgia to go get their tractor. Um, their team, most, most people here are a team as well. So we're all probably gonna end up going to the same place. Um, we already have our rental, so they'll just keep paying for it. And uh, we'll probably just drive up there and get our tractor. Yeah, but anyway, we'll go inside and see what they tell us um, specifically. What's horrible? <laughs> so, we all have right. a freaking 20. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Update, update, update time. All right. So, basically, I'm going to try to give you the longest possible story short, okay? Um, we had already rented our car, and I called them, like, hey, how much is it going to cost to keep the car for an extra day and return it, like, in Atlanta or whatever? So, long story short, the lady told me $95. I'm like, yo, I just paid $93 for four days, and you want me to pay another $95 for one more day? Like, I don't know about that. I don't know if they're going to reimburse me for that. I don't want to chance it. So, I'm like, at this point, I'm going to go return my car and have them rent me the car in their name, and then I'm just going to try to keep this car, if that makes sense. You get what I'm saying? But if not, we're gonna have to switch everything from this car to the other car, which I don't wanna do. So hopefully they can just do that. Hopefully they'll let us keep this car. That would be the best case scenario. And everything else is done. Oh, okay. So we just got our truck information. That, that's what Babe was um, talking about. So they assigned us our truck. And last time, as you know, our truck number was 03193. This time, that one is older. It's a 2020, but I, I feel think like the that truck one is, is older. Like it's that's a 2020. Not fair. The truck that we got on the Target account had how many miles when we got it? Like 35,000 or something. So imagine how much this one has. It's probably gonna have like 100,000 miles, which is not good. It's not a good. A team, a team should have a brand new, a brand truck. new truck. Anyway, so let's figure this out, and um, I'll just I'll keep you guys updated on whatever other information. Okay, guys. So. Um, we're about to leave the rest of the area. We've been driving for like, I don't know, probably like an hour or so, to be honest. But um, good news, good news, good news, good news, and uh, I don't know, other news. But good news, we got to keep our rental car, which is freaking awesome, because we didn't have to move anything out of it, and they were so nice. And long story short, I'm just happy as shit that we got to keep the rental car. And where's the car key? Oh, okay, I thought I left it in the bathroom. Um, yeah, so we ran into the other guys that we were with at the at the orientation, the other another team, and they got a brand new truck, a 2021, which we knew like that's what teams are supposed to get, brand new trucks. So we're about to call US Express again and be like, yo, what's up with us not getting a new truck? So, you know, I'm gonna keep you updated on that. I don't know if we're gonna get a truck tonight or if we're gonna end up staying in a hotel. I don't know what's gonna happen. But, I don't know, bear with us. I live my life on the run I say I'm not giving up I may be living alone But I still believe in love In a similar way I feel like Losing my conscience Driving safe out there like literally stuff like this can happen okay just just be careful out there okay all right guys so we made it to georgia pretty good time it's like 6 35 on the dot we just parked and i forgot once you leave florida it's not hot as shit anymore <laughs> so i don't know what the temperature is but it's a little chilly i mean not cold enough to like put a sweater on but it's definitely not like florida whatsoever so anyway, we made it here. So um, yeah, <sighs> let's uh, let's 
go find our truck. <laughs> Let's go find our truck. Okay, I take it back. It is definitely cold enough for a sweater. All right, I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm just walking. I think this is the office. We've never been here, obviously. Never been here before. Uh, must check in with the guard shack at the main gate. We gotta go to the guard shack. Everybody checking in, must go to the guard shack. It's cold. We need a sweater. I am freaking cold. Oh my God, I'm such a Floridian. It's terrible. Woo, good luck to us on the road, babe with this cold yeah so i just randomly found our truck because we can't find anybody in the shop to help us 